Hey everyone, I got Anna and Elsa here, and we're making Anna's bed. So I'm using Elsa's bed as a model because we're going to make her the exact same thing, except instead of an Elsa picture, we're going to have an Anna picture. So, um, if you don't have Anna's, the Anna doll, this might be a little bit hard for you because I'm using her box. So I'm just going to show you what I did. You're basically using the, all the pieces of the box to make this. So this is the backdrop where she's like attached to, and this is what the back of the box looks like. And we are going to cut out this Anna picture. That's the Elsa picture. Like, this is exactly the same box that Elsa came in. So, yeah, this is exactly the same. And so we're just going to cut out this Anna picture later. And then after we cut her out, we're going to like hot glue this together. And then we're using this, as you can tell, for the backboard over there. And that's where the Anna picture goes. When I made Elsa's, I made it too short, so I detached a piece of cardboard to it. But I'm going to try and make it not too short. But if I need to, I will add cardboard. Probably this. <laughs> it's a little extra piece that came at the bottom. You don't need that. I need those two pieces. This is the front of what it looks like. Elsa's was like this. It said Elsa, and add Elsa picture. And then, these are the sides of the box. There's two of them, because there's two sides of the box. And this is what you're going to use for the sides of the bed with some white cardboard or cardboard covered with white paper. And then this is what the top of the box looks like. And I'm using it for the bottom of the box because the real bottom of the box just looks like this. And my cat's coming. Hold on. Done. Okay, so I just realized I booked the cat's here. But um, so you want to cut off the tabs on all of them. And I'm just going to show you what we are going to do next. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this is where you're going to want to get white cardboard or cardboard and cover it with white paper. So I found this really big piece of white cardboard. It's like really big. It's my hand. It's brown on the other side, which is good. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to move those scraps away. So, um, the first and most important part you want to do is, well, get a pencil, get a smiley face pencil, and take the base, this is the base of the bed, and you're going to put it in the corner and just draw it, and trace it. Putting it in the corner will prevent you from having to draw extra sides. You don't want to draw it in the middle of your paper. It's a waste. You need all that space. We're going to cut out a lot of pieces. There. Actually, for um, the base, it doesn't matter if it's white, but for the other parts, it does. So, um, now that you have it drawn, you just want to cut out. I got some big kid scissors. I had some little kid scissors earlier. But the big ones are better for cutting. Because they can reach farther. And because they're stronger. When I made Elsa's bed, I used little kid scissors because I was in my basement and I didn't bring down my crafting tools. I just brought down my hot glue gun. <laughs> and if you don't have a hot glue gun, you can always try tape. I just thought hot glue would um would look better on the bed. I really try my hardest not to bend the cardboard, but I hate when it happens. And it honestly, it does happen. I don't know who was knocking, or whatever that was. It happened. Probably my sister. I think she was taking a shower. I'm almost done cutting out this huge piece. This is the biggest piece you'll have to cut out, I promise. Alright, here we go. We're almost there. Almost there. Alright, we got it. Alright, it might be a little rickety at first. You can put aside your other one. And you can just, like, fix it up, like to fix up. That's basically all I needed to fix. So now you just want to make sure you can lay your piece over it again. And then you want to cut out your Anna picture from the back, which I'm going to do right now. And you want to, since you don't have a lot of space, like when I cut out Elsa's, I had to cut off this whole portion. So you just want to cut out like from this little dot or maybe even just cut it off. So I'm going to try and like get around her. I'm going to use my little scissors for this because when I cut details, like small things, I like little kid scissors. It's always good to have two pairs of scissors with you. But if you don't, it's fine. You don't have to use little kid scissors. I just recommend them. 
That's what I use. Oh, you cannot even see me cutting out all that. I might have to cut off my little dots, which is always sad. It's always sad when you have to get rid of some cute little feature. And I have the dolls over here watching me, so they can give me comments like, oh, that looks really good. No, I'm not really making them do that. It's just a joke. But if you really want to, you could make your dolls do that. I have Elsa's bed here as a guide because I'm trying to make their beds identical. Well, not exactly identical because, of course, it's going to be Anna on this one instead of Elsa. There we go. Let me see if it's like the same size as the Elsa one because if it is, perfect. I know it'll fit now, so I'm happy with that. So, now you're going to want your hot glue gun or something. There is tape on this and there should not be. All right, I actually have to plug in my hot glue gun, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my hot glue gun over there warming up, and so I'm just going to push that aside. And while we wait for it to warm up, we're going to cut out some other pieces that we need. So let's push these aside. So we need to make pieces for these three pieces. So you can use a ruler and just measure it out, or you can just trace it. Like I'm going to do, I'm going to trace it. And I already have one side that's already, like, just about the same size. Where'd my pencil go? Uh-huh. Since this one's smaller, it should be easier. That's what I like about it. I should have used the straight side, shouldn't I? Actually, I don't think either of the sides are straight. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's okay if they're not perfectly straight. Doesn't matter. I'm going to cut this one out, too. If you already had your hot glue gun warming up when you knew I said we need my scissors are stuck. When you know I said I we needed a hot glue gun, then good for you. But uh, still do this part. If you need it, you need this part. This is a tutorial, by the way. Not just you guys watching me make it. I'm telling you guys how to make it. That's why it's like a tutorial. I cannot get this piece out. I need to cut it over here more. Sorry if you can't see this. Ugh, I got it. Okay. So move this piece. And that's what this is going to go on, so it looks like that really pretty. Okay. And the hot glue gun still needs to warm up, so we have time to make out these sides. So we already have this one big long side, already the same size as this. Actually, it's longer. It's longer? Why is it longer? That's weird. The box is the same size. Oh, because that is where I just... <gasps> I'm so dumb. I cut out this piece. Whoopsies. Okay. I'm going to cut this out. I actually want the straight side, so I'm going to use over here. Because I, I like having straight sides, rather than having me draw it all out. I'm going to start down here. And after you cut these out, your hot glue gun should be warmed up. I'm guessing. I don't know what kind of hot glue gun you guys have. Mine is from Walmart. <laughs> it was like $5.00. It was really cheap, and it's great. It's a good size. It's mini pink. Sorry, my camera turned off, but I got all the pieces cut out. So, yeah, my hot glue gun is warm now. So I'm just going to um, glue this flap shut. Okay. Once you get that all glued up like me, um, you're going to take your cardboard, doesn't matter which way, and you're going to glue it on there. That's still a little bit warm. And you want to glue it so that this gets trapped on the inside because you have the hole there. Then you want to take all of your side pieces and glue them onto their white panels. Okay, so now that you've got all these side pieces, um, I'm going to get a ruler and measure how long the backboard should be, and then I'll let you guys know. Okay, so it should be about 7.5 to 7.25 inches. You can even go 8 if you want. So I'm just going to take a pen and mark it. Since it is plastic, I just use a whiteboard marker so it can come off after. Like, doo -doo -doo. you don't want that on there, but it can come off. So after you cut it out, it'll just be able to wash right off. And I'll demonstrate that once I cut it. So now I've got this black line, and I can just take my finger or a rag or a whiteboard marker or something and just wipe it off, and it's a clean cut. You can do the same to the other side if you want, even though I don't think we'll be using them. And I'm just going to make sure it's the same size as the one on my Elsa bed, because I really want them to be equal. It's a bit taller, but I don't really mind.
Okay. On Elsa's bed, I covered the the board in white paper because I put this side up. But I think I'm just going to put this side up because it's already covered in white. So, um, once you cover it in white, or if you already have it covered in white, you want to flip it to the back side. And you also you want to pick which way it goes up. So I'm going that way is up. So this is what you want the bottom to be. And you're going to put a line of hot glue there and just glue it on and then glue the other side on. Alright, so I've got my sides glued on. Um, it's still a little wet, but I think it, it's holding up pretty well. So then you've got your end and you do not want to put it on wrong. So you want to put it on this side and this way. But when you're gluing it on, you want to stand your board up this way and put glue on all the sides and then stick it on. I found that works best than putting it on this. Alright, so I've got my end glued on, so now it's standing up pretty well. We need to put the backboard on. So I'm going to use the same method I used to put the front on. And I'm just going to glue on to the cardboard and then put this on after. I actually just remembered, before you glue this on, you want to put on your Anna picture. So, um, apply glue right to this and put it right on that. So I'm actually going to show you this step just because... I was showing you guys all the steps, but then my camera was like running out of memory. So I had to delete some videos I didn't really need. Oh, it's really hot. I'm going to use my um, ruler. So yeah, you just want to place it in a good spot. And then when you put it here, you want to be able to see it. So that's in a good spot. Alright, I just got Anna's headboard on. And right now, the girls' beds are looking identical, which is exactly what I wanted. Except their comforters are going to be very different. Also, if you wanted, you could like take from the packaging, cut out their name, and maybe the picture of them, or Frozen, and stick it on there. But I just chose not to do that. I could put Anna right there, actually. Right there, like her name. But then I'd have to do that on Elsa, and I think I threw out her thing. So, I'm not going to. I want the doll's bed to look identical. So, next I am going to show you how to make the bedspread. Okay, so for Elsa's bedspread, it's just a piece of tissue paper. And her pillows are also tissue paper stuffed with these thingies, which are like cosmetic pads or something. And so I need to make Anna's the same, and I found this adorable um, tissue paper. And I was like, this is screaming Anna. Look at this. It's like these really cute little flowers. And there's also pink. So I might make her like a pink pillow or something. But I need to actually, I never saw the, the paper without the flowers under it. I mean, without the pink under it. So. Oh, yeah, that is so Anna. Let me get Anna in here. That is so Anna. So cute. Okay, so your piece should be 9 inches wide and 13 inches long. And I have like a 3, oh, 2 and a half inch of a fold over. That's why it's so long. Or you can just measure out your bed. I'm just going to copy Elsa's. Okay, and I got her bedspread on. And for the pillows, the big ones, which are back here, are 3 inches by 2 inches and on each side. And then the little one is 2 inches by 2 inches. So you can just make two of the big ones and one little one. For the pillows, I make these templates, and this is two. I'm going to have to cut it up the middle. I'm using fabric scissors to cut my tissue paper because I... Oh, no, it's stuck. I found that it works best. Come on. They are not cutting today. They were just cutting for me, and now they're not cutting on camera. Well, they should work best. There we go. So I made... It's two 3 by 2s connected, and then you fold on the line, or just until the ends meet. So then it comes out like that. And then you tape this side and this side and leave this side open. Okay, so I am watching the middle here now. And so I have the pillow, and you need two for each big pillow, one for the little pillow, and two to sit on the bed. 
and you just rip them up and stuff them. I got the two big pillows stuffed, and once you stuff them, you just tape it shut. And I'm going to show you how to do this with the little one. So you just want to open it up on the end, and just rip your, like, cosmetic pad. Or you can stuff it with cotton balls. You just want to rip it up into small little sections. And one is just enough for this. I don't know how many cotton balls would be good. You just stuff it all in. And then you get your piece of tape, same size about the same size. You can always cut off the extras. Put it over the top. Hold on, I got bent. Put it over the top. And then fold it over onto the other side. And you have a pillow. And then, for up here, you lay down. Alright, everyone. So, sorry about that. My camera turned off again. And uh, it's the next day. And what I was trying to say, I think, was for up here, you want to take two of the cosmetic pads and just put them down as extra pillows. And then put your mini pillow on there. And I have Anna and Elsa's beds next to each other in their spot. So they look really cute next to each other. They slept there last night. And um, I, have, I have Anna and Elsa on my bed. So let's go see what they think. Oh yeah, they're not even in their original outfits. I'll show you their outfits really quick. So here's Elsa wearing um, this gorgeous necklace. This blue, like, mini dress with some white leggings and brown boots and this necklace. So she looks really cute. I picked blue for her because she loves blue, obviously. She got matching my bed, actually, now. And here's Anna. She's got her really cute little braids in. And here's her neck. She has this necklace on. It's, like, circular, I guess. She has on this shirt with a person riding a horse, and it's pink. There's like frills at the edges, but I tucked in her shirt into her little schoolgirl skirt. I thought it was cute. And some brown leggings. She has on this cute little bracelet, and some gorgeous heels. So yeah, um, let's see if the girls like their beds. And you can make this for like any doll if you can have their packaging. I'm just going to have them lay down in their beds. Oh, they love them. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And let us know in the comments um, if you try this, if it worked out for you, or if you just like it. And um, they love it, right? Yeah. And I'm really in love with this tissue paper. It's so cute. So, bye.